Hello everybody, you all doing well? We're still outside. I thought I probably spent about a total of about two and a half hours out this morning. About an hour with her, just now, a little bit earlier on this morning with the other husky. Um, I'm just thinking about after Petty Piev and Antley Yard. You know what? I would love nothing more than Antley Yard to get that win over Betty Beer. Can you imagine? That would be phenomenal. That would be great. What a great way to start the new year in January. What a great way Antley Yard defeats against all odds against Arthur Betty Beer. Is it going to happen? You, uh, you wouldn't put money on it. You couldn't afford to lose. You really wouldn't. And that's based on the fact that Arthur Betty Beer is phenomenal. He was phenomenal as an amateur. In fact, even Drop Dusik is one of the very few people who can lay claim to that fame that they actually dropped Dusik to the canvas. Better BF did as an amateur. As a pro, 100% record, knockouts, unified champion. Did he get on a bit? Yeah. But he didn't have any miles on the clock, or that many miles at least. He's got a very good chin. Elite boxing ability. And of course, a big punch. And the yard has a big punch. Um, and as we've seen with Anthony Yard before, to beat Anthony Yard, all you really need is a jab. If you've got a good jab, you're beating him. If you can stay disciplined with it, you'll beat him. Kovalev showed you how to do it. That's, that's exactly what he done. And then ultimately knocked him out with a jab. Lyndon Arthur beat Anthony Yard in their first fight by using a jab, but then for some reason abandoned it in the rematch and decided to try and have a fight with him, which is mad. We try and have a fight with Anthony Yard. Well, there's a very real chance that you're looking off second place. That's ultimately what happened. Anthony Yard is a bit too bulky for me. Tunde and Jai. Uh, listen, I'm sure he's a nice guy and everything. I don't really know him. Uh, and I do feel bad about saying it because obviously he's uh, friends with Spencer Furon and I love Spencer Furon. I really do. You know, he's a quality, quality man. But I don't think Tunde and Jai is the kind of guy that can take Anthony Yard to the highest and keep him there. Again, you can get, you can guide anyone to there. As Luda Bella said, you can guide a ham sandwich to the world title. Okay. All you gotta do is line up a whole lot of stiffs. And that's exactly what Anthony Yard has had. The stiffs. The two good fighters that he fought, he lost. With the exception of the rematch with Lyndon Arthur, of course. But when you just fight like, not even European level, it's worrying, very, very worrying. When you haven't even cleaned up domestically, it's worrying. When you haven't even been the British champion that, it's worrying, right? It is worrying. And now he's gonna go up against an absolute killer, like Betibiev. Listen, as I said before, I would love Yardi to win it. Absolutely love it. That would be mint. I'd be so happy for him. That ain't gonna happen. I don't, I, or at least I don't think it's going to happen. I'd love to be wrong, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think Anthony Yard's going to get himself knocked out. He's going to get gassed, he's going to get worn down, and he's going to get stopped. Could be early, could be late. I don't see it going distance. I don't think Anthony Yard has to, has to tank to go the distance, especially when you've got Tunde Jai telling him to empty the tank and shouting, lions in the camp. What a lot of a waffle that is, isn't it? End of the day, I was saying, I would love Anthony Yard to win, but I don't think he's gonna. I've got a feeling. Oh, fun. is this on pay per view? It just dawned on me. I've seen a poster and, and it didn't say pay per view, but I've seen something from BT Sports saying pay per view. So I don't know, is it pay per view or isn't it? I hope it ain't. It's not pay per view worthy. It ain't. It really ain't. But listen, at the end of the day, we know why, why Anthony Yard is getting his world title shot. Same reason why he got title shot against uh, Kovalev. WBO. WBO, Queensbury have a very good relationship. Nothing wrong with that. If you can do it, do it. Why not? I would. But that's why he's got it. It's not based on merit. It's not based on beating good opposition around you, cleaning up domestically, all that kind of stuff. No. No. And I've got a feeling, and I hope I'm wrong, but I've got a feeling that Arthur Betibiev is going to hurt him in this fight because I don't think Yard is ready. I don't think he's ready. You can put him in with these tin cans, no problem. 
okay? These who have zero punch resistance, no problem. But those who are coming to win, he's gonna struggle. He's really gonna struggle. But as I said, hopefully I'm wrong. And I hope uh, Yard pulls off that win. That would be mint. Honestly, I'll probably give uh, Tunde Jai trainer of the year, even though it'd be January of 2023. Okay, but is it gonna happen? No. To be honest with you, I don't think Tunde Jai can even break down fights. I've seen him speak many times. He didn't really have the ability to break down a fight to show what the weaknesses are of certain opponents, what their strengths are, and he doesn't really do that. Or if he does, he keeps it to himself and, and does it behind the scenes. I know he's been around for a long time, but... And the yard losing to Bedbiev? I think Tunde Jai might find himself out of a job, as uh, it was all threatened before, weren't it? But anyway, I don't want to be negative about it. That's the last thing in the world I want to be, because I want him to win. Win by knockout, that'd be great. We've seen Better BF hit the canvas on a couple of occasions. One of them was to uh, Callum Johnson, who unfortunately is now retired. But he gets himself back up. He puts a beat down on, on his opponent. So Hannah Yard better be on form. Better go in there with confidence. If you think you want to go in there and outbox him, you ain't. Might best try and empty the tank in the first couple of rounds. It's probably gonna be his best shot. But anyway, drop your thoughts below, click on the subscribe. Catch you next video.